Right now, getting close to our first execution. It's gonna start off good for Akuma, for Chaldic. Gone through. I hate that crosshair gatch, but we'll have to put up with it. Moving on up the e holes. They go for the push, trying to take down Takas, but not really gonna be able to do too much there. Logan for one, but Vitality chime in for two as the spike gets planting. Proper stuff. Well, Spike is not gonna hit the ground on the end of the day. All oh, no. working fine. Standout player, raise a specialty, potentially, for Shelby. And we'll see if they're able to have the impact that they're looking for on it here on Bind. Obviously, Bind, one of the more prolific raise style maps, clearing out places like Hookah, clearing down U-Hauls, a lot of power to move through quickly. And the lineups that this guy has in the back pocket are insane as well. So look out for those from Shelby. Round number one, where suddenly the time is not even in your favor anymore. But Vitality got the spike down. BDS are intrigued to make this a swift one. But there is a lot of opposition that is just awaiting them. Loki playing on the edge of that wall, but just falls down in time. And as Sender falls as well, it might just oh. all collapse. It is only Loki standing. Vitality need the first round, but they don't get it. BDS over on the A site. And Astakas is holding Lamb's comfortably and casually. Is he hitting him off guard? Yes, he does. BDS don't want to end the streak anytime soon. He doesn't see a thing, though. Poor attack is blind in the end. and definitely needs some glasses. But here it comes. The Orbital to strike gets all the players out of lambs. Brams is taking a long way around, who still has a Molotov to do something in a post-plant at least. But still, the control has been taken. They have halved it. They go on. And the Tower of Strength called PDS is going to be taken out. They still have an opportunity to deny the defuse. But the Molotov has not nice. landed according to plan. This could be working. Oh, God, she got to do something about it. And there's no chance. That spike's oh. going to explode. And the slows, the utility being invested now for Vitality. They're loading it up. They're trying to cock the gun. And there goes that Viper's Pit. They're trying to just hold on to this with everything they've got. They've even got the showstopper now available. Sender falls. The Viper spits down. That's the worst. Absolutely the worst. 30 seconds. And they haven't even wasted a thought on swapping positions. Intrigued over the A side, and they'll go with it. Spike, though, once more dropped to the ground, whilst Takis doesn't stand a chance. Logan is here for the revenge, and the body's got the control over the side, except the Shalabite. Who stands a major chance, but, oh, well, there you go. Don't he stays alive, oh. but Akuma. This is what you potentially wanted to see. They've left the Viper on the defense. Oh, no. They've left that Viper with the Viper's Pit over there. Can road and knock out these shots. And this is where Logan chimes in. Goodness gracious, the right click coming in from Roden. This is nasty. Failing with his operator, making it work with the free pistol to get at round start. Roden is definitely on it, but not much more to do. Takas would still have the right purse pit, but he could be the savior of the round again. Takas is. Listen, thinking eight to one is really on the cards right now. For you. And every time, I'm, I'm proved a little bit wrong. Trying to pull a little bit back. Roden nails the first shot for BDS over on this oh. B site. Yeah. And there he goes. There we go. Okay. Counter. Marshal over up. Who knew? <laughs> and Logan got to be checked. This got to be a very cautionary measure. No chance in the end. And the spike has been brought into the sand. Doesn't vanish yet, but it's five more seconds to get that spike down. Is anyone going to hold him up in time? Yep. Vitality thinking about investing the res here over onto Shalabi, but Akuma's there to just take it. Gained early on in the round. It's not like they're working off any major advantage and then just wait it out. It's, it's really just the execution that they coordinate and then, well, obviously execute. Who could have guessed? And as Rodent... Oh. It's just going away from all the action that's coming towards him. Spike most likely will hit the ground just this moment. Okay. Sure. I mean, Takes just rolls straight on through, brings another player down, but... The spike gets planted, and Vitality now have a little bit of control with no Viper's Pit. It's not full, but Loki nails another kill. Keeps them in the running, and Vitality look to try and hold on for now. Only threat comes from the site. Takas isolates them in the corner. Vac punches out with a back to the wall. Swing strong. What? Brams with two. And a nail. And fire on all cylinders. We're going to figure that out. 
Here comes Rodent. There's a teleport as well that's come in through the back on the defense and swing. Shallow beep. Entering the side with his mates. Tack is the only one waiting back in the container. The right timing. He's not going to hit it. Well, he, he should have. But at the end of the day, shots were not on point. Well, suddenly, as we see right there, something has just left us. That was actually the possibility of a Viper's Pit. But as I say that, the revive, the resurrection. Then Nail that player. Absolutely take them out of the equation. And immediately you pick up a second as well. A quick trade down mid. It's good news for Vitality. But still, they're down 7-3. Brahms forced now into play against this short road. Brahms, take a look at that flank from Akuma. Nailed the res there. Needed that orbital strike on board for the post plant. If they can get up to site, they can get the spike down again. They can look for it. But instead of the post plant, they invest it on the push and it's going to go well. Brahms takes one. Shalabi with another. Roden curtails it out of curtain, out of showers. But <gasps> no! we'll pull the curtain across the night. Over here on Vines. And most definitely they are for this second. Roden is coming with the support. The pain shells land right where they need to. Brahms is out to kill after another. And suddenly Hook is becoming more of a slaughterhouse than a fuming room. Vitality are going to be fuming after that last round. See if they can come back swinging. What this time has done is allowed BDS to push out, but what it's also allowed oh, is for Vitality. Time, well, you could call this an overextension, maybe to some degree, but it's not over. That round is not done yet. Takas, as well as his teammates, still stands somewhat of a chance. So. Can't just taking his time. I still got my doubts that they actually make this one work. Sure, the wall is going to fall down any second soon. The snake bite might be valuable to get Loki out of position, but there's still two others who are very intrigued to make a move. And as I say that, back low HP to be taken out. At least that happened, but I got my doubts that much more than that, it's just going to be happening. The, vi the Viper is still up and available for Sender. No. Has got the snake bite, and there's no way it can go through. There's just no time, no progress on the defuse, no bullets in the chamber, and the teleports. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh, Brahms! Brahms. He's oh, capitalizing no. on that! They can't even peek him. There's pressure from Loki, and there's the teleports. Oh, shall oh. I be with the right click? That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Rodan, last man standing. The nate goes right where... Well, okay. I just wanted to say <laughs> I have some sort of precognition that this could be ending badly, but obviously... Pack, line up, looking to try and come through. So <laughs> I'm even need going it. very <laughs> aggro in with the judge. I mean, what else? Up close and personal seems to be the only real description for this damn weapon. I generally don't like it very much. No. A force coming out from BDS as well. Means that they're getting taken down early for Roden. Really impactful to the economy. BDS need to be careful here. I I, I generally think the it feels a bit like some some bad odor when it comes to public transport. It's just annoying. You don't want it. Get it out of my out of me, but either way. Just, Getting away from the very odd topics of public transportation, public transportation indeed, directly into hell. That's at least what Chalabi does with Takas. Spike's gonna be hitting the ground though nevertheless, and no paying attention to the elbow. Logan has one tough task up ahead of him, you could call them. And sort of overinvest in those rotates when you need to. The Vitality still holds strong. And they're playing strong on this defense, they're playing a lot better. But if you're taking trades like that, it might go the other way. Spike's going to be hitting the ground once more, and well, Vitality are somewhat on a streak at this point, though that free versus free looks doable, as we see that the BDS out of things are waiting patiently for something too aggressive. <gasps> oh, that didn't go according to plan at all. Shall be the only one that couldn't turn anything around, but Logan doing himself a favor and waits. Time to open up the sky, I would feel like, but Ooh. nope. Easy as that. BD to go. BDS engaged. And as they march on, the fight has started over the control.
trying to get on towards this B site, but the teleports come through. There's still two over towards A for the defense as well. Tak has sure has control of U-Hauls, but they're going to know about that. They're going to no know way. that there can be a player. Seekers come through, and they're trying to invest these ults to stop this plant going in. Gatch has that spike, and Vac nails a shot, sees the elbow, and nails another for Gatch. Huge, huge positioning coming through for Vitality. Two kills answer by BDS, but with only 17 seconds left on the clock, Shalabi needs to hold out on the spike. Yeah, they seemingly don't realize what's happening. Left, right, and center, the players are coming in. Logan, Logan is starting good! Oh no, this can't be the clutch of him! Tries to find the spike and even brings it down in time, but the wall bang should work successfully. It doesn't go according to plan. The wall has now been delivered, but one headshot from Logan. You gotta stay calm and patient. No need for hectic movements. And he works around, plays around, goes for another reload. Time is his friend, don't forget that. But once the oh. spike goes up, no, it is not happening. What up a- there. As Gatch is going to be able to get that one in. And they're going to keep that Toxin screen up. There's plenty of force to be worried about. Sender takes the flank and Akuma goes down. So now we're playing at an advantage. Sender has that Viper's Pit progression as well. A BDS answer with a rally of kills. Yeah, even that revive will be used at the end of the day, but... Here comes the wall, and another one. Oh, Takis is just running out in the open. Knows about the players in lambs. At least this is what it looks like. And this could be a surprise moment for the young player as only one more stands. Loki has probably no opportunity to turn this one around. The this is going to be tricky coming up against these rifles, against such a heavy old stack. <laughs> Mate. Chalabi. So, Rams and Cole got once more a tough task up ahead of him. It won't be that easy. The very belly coast BDS put the spike down. Moving on through Vitality, looking for the retake, but I don't think it's too likely here. Do they want to invest the Seekers, invest that showstopper? I feel like Chalabi wants to move on forwards, but charging back on up. Brahms and Vac find one each, and now it's only three that they have to worry about. Smoke's going to be popped on in for Vitality as Brahms looks to tap the defuse oh, and Akuma takes him down, works. finds two. Here, and my exposition is done. Thank you very much for that one. In the meantime, act number one seems to be coming in with a flank. What act number two is, well, it might be just very explosive. By extinguishing the flames. Well, for, for now, it seems to be all working in favor of BDS. As also, the Seekers are being used. They mean business, but the spike has been brought to the ground and delivered in the favor of Sender, who does not really land that snake bite according to plan. And now oh. they try to counter each other. This is a brilliant what? ball back. Vitality are back in the fight. And Logan is a single soldier standing, beret on his head, but it doesn't make him. Make him the automatic elite that BDS needs as he's hugging and clutching the corner close. Two are coming back over the spawn. Another one from Hookah as he found out previous. Oh, but he's scared. So many angles where they can come from. Now he knows that two are coming over oh. the spawn. Logan seems to make this work. And will he become the hero? Oh. Yes, indeed. He's bringing it home for BDS. He can't strike with full force. Logan back to the wall. Pulls out the claws and turns towards some good picks. But barring triple kills, it's not gone their way. Great way to start it off with Vitality. Exactly the fashion they needed in, and the thing is, some of those ults will take some time for the BDS side. So those live insurances, they can't sign the contract yet. But good start from Logan. Second, good also granting the heal from his teammates. It's available. Able to nail out two kills. It's phenomenal for BDS to hold oh, on there. Shalabi oh, no, needs no, no. to hit that. Blast pack, heads up. Keep it alive. Keep yourself in the advantage with the position. Let your team come to you. Get those rotates to come through because you've got that orbital strike to play for your back. Elbow controlled. No Logan way. takes Shalabi down at the back. And he's waiting for it, doesn't he? Both have the same opportunity to use, but nope. None of them find anything. Bram's now oh, spotted. No. Still finds the kill. So vital, so crucial. Leaving it down to Rodent and Logan to be the ones turning it in favor of BDS. But will they do so? Brums. That's excellent stuff to start with from Rodent. As Hoppy joins, that defense seems to be strong for the moment. Vitality only down to three. And their options are being limited in this pistol. Goes on and on. And well, as I say, Dan, you might just make it flawless.
Yeah, behind the wall. The spike does go in. It does get planted, so... They don't seem to run on E anytime soon, as that was a very odd dash. Rams, though, with at least one reply. Rode being eliminated. The squad? Oh, well, they haven't fully decided yet. Rams actually now up to pretty much full strength in this round with the, with the uh, Spectre and obviously the overhealing coming through up to 150. So pretty difficult to deal with, actually, in this situation. You can start to snowball these Rainers on Art Attacker. Nowhere close, really. As Logan wins out the duel against Sender on the off angles. And back to A they go against two as well on the defense. Going to be tricky to find these spots. Rams are cold. Team to enter the spot any second soon. This attack is Ooh. starts off good. Back with a proper reply. I'm not quite sure if the picture of Takas is a deep fried meme or actually a picture of himself. Brill four players in front of the walls over on the B site. They'll explode any second soon. And while Sender hits no timing on his opposing lad that comes around, Takas at least finds one. This is a brilliant start because this might be just the initiation of the flank. One player after another falls into the cold snow and. As cold as death as it is, Vitality's chances are pretty much diminished. 30 seconds and again, left. in despair, we see the big V. No more chances, except there is a rabbit they pull out ahead, but they pretty much line up and hoppy with this. Much to worry about after those first two. Now's where you Oi. need to start picking it up. Loki does just that, lands a headshot. Takas looks for the spray and finds it to equalize. <sighs> and at this point in time, it seems a little like that BDS get a little greedy. I understand their system of finding those fracks early on. Please don't get me wrong. Here. But after such an investment, getting all those weapons out, obviously, Vitality don't bring too much to the table. And do you really need to expand your, extend your own boundaries at that point in time? It's a, it's a long discussion we could have here. I'm just not too much of a fan of it at this point. Rifles now in the hands of Vitality. Well, they get spotted out. No one takes down the bolt. A little bit too slow. Miscommunication potentially there as to who was going to have to take that one out. But A-Sight looking to get the plant. Uh -oh. There's the Hunter's Fury. That was baited out pretty effectively there. And Loki with the updraft and the tailwind. Not even going to need it. Nails the headshot and Hunter's Fury used. That is a real big blow to BDS. A massive one indeed, but it's not done yet. As I say it though, Hoppy falls. And with Loki getting such a... They'll have a couple rounds left in them. So no biggie, no biggie. You just need to keep keep this one going. And that's exactly the way you want to start things out. Oh. Roden lands two with the operator. Looks for a third, can't get it. But Logan's there to back it up as well. Finds Brahms. And Vitality are in tatters yet again. Like lying, ambushing Gazelle is not get it. Though probably this is the total opposite. Loki's taking a lot of room already, but... I mean, Vitality, it seems like there's something in coordination missing with the squad, really. They, they just also would stumble upon the side, shoelaces tied together. Still, Spike's gonna be put on the ground. It doesn't change the matter of fact that somehow BDS got a double man advantage and are looking for more, hungry to get more out of that. But Loki, as he moves around, that might be just a brilliant move as the Rodin is capitalizing. On the opponents not paying too much attention to him, finally the blades hit! Loki stays alive, but not for long. The puppeteer is pulling the strings and the show belongs to B- They should be solid. BDS though need to get as many rounds in this half. Getting an 11-1, I think it doesn't matter how good your defense is. You're not coming back from that, especially on the momentum side of things. But Brahms opens well. Brilliant stuff from Loki's weights on the edge of the smoke. <laughs> Distracting Rodan. That worked according to plan. But he can't do that e that easily to Logan as he's, he's getting onto the side. And as he floats, it's another operator put to use brilliantly. Ow. Again with, but he seems like to be somewhat of a bait and somewhat of a great sharpshooter at the same time. Two versus two is not going to be easy here, John. Shalabi though, one found and looking for a second as well. Hoppy now in a one versus one locked in with Sender who has got that snake bite. Looking to try and pop it on no. in. Doesn't see a shoulder. <gasps> he didn't hoff it. Goes in the route, goes no. on the rope. Hoppy goes down and Sender nails it. Vitality get a second. 
It's not great. It's not great indeed, <laughs> but Vitality pick up a second round. Looking for more, and Loki nails the opener again onto Road and a crucial player, but fortunately they trade it off. At this stage, Vitality can't afford to lose players. They've got so many ults, and they need to be spending them if they have, want to have a chance of picking them back up in this half to get the maximum value out of these agents. You've got the, the Viper Pit, you've got that Hunter's Fury, the Empress, you've got a lot of brute force forwards pushing power, but you need to invest it. Here it goes. Bramps finds Logan. And the Kuma, Takis, and Hoppy. In case you don't hear it, they move over to B. Quite fast, quite swift. But it seems like that hasn't been hurt too much. BDS. Ah, oh, well. They're in a decent spot for now. Making this man equalized. But Bramps knows how to keep control. Hoppy, though, has the antidote. Seems to figure it out, and now the retake can come through. Not a lot of utility available now on either side, but there's two snake bites from Hoppy potentially proving to be tricky. One enemy remaining. So there you go. Last Reply is here, ended. but well, that went faster than expected. Shellbeck getting them all, and the first had a wallet back then. But... I don't like <laughs> that you're making fun of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Nevertheless, attack over on the A side, and Akuma waiting over on the other side of that wall. Investing the Hunter's Fury, moving forwards, Vitality get picks, BDS try and turn around, but the spike's already in, and we're into post-plant. <gasps> Sender has that Viper's pit, hasn't invested it just yet, as the trades are going well for Vitality. They do very much, and well, Hoppy, gotta consider if he's gonna use that pit or not. At the moment, it does look like it would be a great investment, as though he gets one, sees the head of fact. The one or the other life insurance inside of BDS. One... Or that Akuma is away from getting himself the Hunter's Fury. As I say that, Logan goes on and on. Could no revive if he feels like if. In the meantime, a lot of B control obtained by Hoppy. It's a wild beginning, and here it goes. Hunter's Fury is ready. Akuma as well, nailing the shot down mid, and that's the pressure that I said I wanted to see from BDS. I mean, they managed to get the range, they managed to push on through, and Vitality hadn't gone fast and loose towards no. A. Hoppy, no. you need to land those. Ah, uh, this is where I just hope that they don't real that they realize any second soon that Vac is coming in from behind, or at least not from spawn, because you saw that that little recon dart did not get any information on the second player. This is where you could assume what's left. happening, and if I see correctly, Akuma's already looking in that direction. And obviously, this is the point where I'll just go a little further. Is where in case this works, of course, parking lot and. Do some donuts. They definitely don't like it back there, but BDS, they have a great time. But for how long is the question? Because Brams escapes. Rodin has taken a lot of room, but he might just get att getting attacked from two levels. From top and bottom. Can go dash out at the right time. Spikes on the ground. Yep, that's dangerous. Doesn't work. Pops around the corner, able to land the shots onto Hoppy, trying to take some angles, but Vitality move back through. Rodan and Takas now trying to hold off, but one player's holding the back, the other player's on site, and it's not going to go their way. Takas, though, able to get the heal. Three out of those four, that's not as bad as look as it looks for seven and one. You go, you extend that over the game, that's where you start to find your 39s. And it's, it's the playing of averages that is really, really important, and Vitality they might need to exceed those expectations. They're, they're starting off well, but if they're going to lose players like that, they cannot afford to slip up more than once. Oh, and spikes down, that's the thing. I mean, there's not too much more utility for denial over on the side of BDS. We don't see a snake bite or any further darts that could help them advance. But Hoppy, he just needs a rifle or submachine and call it whatever you want. The spring is right. Loki's sticking it. No, he's only halfing, but it doesn't change the matter of fact that this might be just working so well. He's on it. 13 points of health and eliminated in the end. Vitality struggle. This is a marathon. Specifically for Vitality, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. If they make it work on this map, there's still one more to go, which they need to succeed on as well. They start off good. As Akuma's out, still, they push over on B. For more, the wall goes up to see them further. Shalabi's traded, and now they're up into the tubes. <laughs> well, the problem is... Bramps being eliminated that easily. Sacrifice full armor for Loki. 
Vitality need to get value here. We're putting on to Takas, this is good. But is it going to be enough when you answered immediately? There it goes. Applies here. Shelby bringing another one back onto the server. But Logan could do the same, very obviously. Would need to take a long way around for middle to get one of the soldiers back alive. But the Vipers picked at the right time being used. Logan might be killed, but you still need to go into that massive poison cloud where Hoppy awaits to do a mistake. Besides the fact that he got two snake bites ready, so whenever you try to start defusing, enjoy it. First one comes on the ground. A Koopa waits for a mistake of his enemies. There it comes. Brilliant stuff. It's only Hoppy to do anything about it. Awesome. Top running. BDS. I mean, it, it, it's just one round, right? It is just one round. You stack those ults, you get ready. You've got Hunter's Fury. You've got that uh, snake, uh, that Viper pit. I mean, sure, you invested it just there. In the pocket for BDS. And Rodan might just be able to sail all the way over this one. Oh. Taken down. I don't know about you, but that seemed a little too eager for my taste. It's playing off the edge of it. Starts off good. Sender is finding one for now. And as he re-peaks... Oh. It seemed too eager. And look what Logan has. Exactly that revive. That can gain a lot of information for his teammates. But in the meantime, they know that A seems somewhat free. But they're going to know that this B push hasn't come through yet. And that's why Loki's sitting there. Moves in with the knives. Left. The hunt begins. There you go. Good start. Eliminate it. And that's only back for you. The story of Vitality might have ended at this point, and it would be a miracle that Vagni 